everybody, welcome to the Terror Blog. We're gonna go to the library. Yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go and check out some books. Maybe. Yeah. If the, this, this ever turns green. Tarantino shot. There's the sprint store where they didn't do anything. That's a little piece of history. A little piece of fact. A little point of order. <laughs> Love you. Smooches! Uh, yeah, apparently now they outsource all of their insurance, I guess most mobile carriers do. So it goes through a uh, third party. Yeah. So if your phone broke it, and if you have insurance on your phone, you still have to send it off. They can't give you a new phone there. Oh, that's annoying. No matter what. Yeah, it's really annoying. It's, uh, I'm sure they probably save a whole lot of money on it. Doing yeah. It that way. And it's also a... a releases the liability from the people who are working there. Yeah. Um, but it's still a pain in the tuchus. This is one of my favorite buildings in Seattle here. It's a skyscraper. But the bottom is smaller than the top. It's pretty neat. Fifth Avenue Theater. And this is the Fifth Avenue Theater. Go to see many a play. If you're in the uh, area and you're looking for good stuff, they usually put on a pretty fun show. The theater inside is gorgeous as well. That's the Par Paramount, really. The yeah, the Paramount. I just went to the Paramount for the first time. I saw Book of Mormon. It was amazing. Yeah. And we're, uh, we're coming up on the library, so we'll see you guys over there. See ya. Short hair, don't care. Let's go.
Were you just trying to find there something? How to, oh, there we go. Right here. How to be interesting. Jeff, you need that. This is to go. Things to do. This has been read many times. Many people want to be interesting. Don't be shy. Smile at sneers. Smile at sneers. Drop the title. I agree with that. Drop the title. Declare your affections. I love lamp. Interesting. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. The master course in Feng Shui. Path of movement in the nine palaces. I don't get any of this. I don't get Feng Shui. That's what my apartment looks like. It's not. It's really not. The, uh, no, I was, this is the paranormal section, so I was expecting more paranormal activity. Hello. Ghost hunters. So. By now, my readers must realize that a ghost hunt is nothing without a good medium. True, occasionally apparitions materialize to outsiders without apparently a medium present. I say apparently because I'm convinced that somebody is mediumistic when I'm people convinced. see or hear ghosts. I'm convinced. When it's I investigate be. a haunted house, I cannot sit around for days on end and hope for a fortunate moment why the discarnate entity has gathered up enough energy from the people in the house. That's genius. I'm over it. Check me out. Not kidding, it does check me out. The nautical sextant. The nautical sextant. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go to strange new worlds, dude. Strange. Strange new worlds. Top floor, dude, all the way up. No, oh, that's a sign. What were we showing? Yeah. So it has all these different sections to it. Number 10, dude. The uh, reading room. That's the three. Wow. I wonder if anybody's taking a poop on top of that bar to drugs. Just on the top of it, on that rooftop? Just on that little grassy patch. On the rooftop garden? Dog, maybe. This is just questions that I, that I find myself asking every day. The questions you have? Yeah. About the people who live here? Uh, it's about the history. I'm asking about the history of that patch of grass. <laughs> if it's been pooped on? Yes. It's a good question. It's in historical charity on this matter. Three floors in a matter of seconds. Dude, this is my favorite part of the library. I wonder if anybody's pooped on top. I wonder if anybody has. It's really cool. This year, though, I'm 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 nervous. Oh, that's a long way down, dude. Oh, that is a long ass way down. Glad I didn't drop my phone. Probably could kill that dude. Poor guy. 
Yeah, this is the, the highest viewpoint in the library. We're pretty high up. We're at the top, almost at the top. Yeah, there's one more floor where all the professionals That's are. the administrators. It's cool. There's also a stairwell, but who uses that? Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that clock tower over there where Starbucks Corporate is? I think so. I think so. Don't quote me on that, but I think that that's where it is. So this is the book spiral is basically what we've been in. It's a good resting or descending. Uh, hey, you can actually walk around the whole thing. So you can walk around. All the sections are based off of where they are. Walk up that way. So nine, we're on four nine. And it goes to eight when we're approaching the eighth floor. It's pretty slick. It's really cool. Optimizes the space. All the plays. This is a good place to read a whole bunch of plays. I was really into reading plays for a second there. Yeah, this is really cool. I didn't know that they had all of these. Yeah. This is the fiction section. Fiction? This is where all the magic happens. These are stories. Oh, you know what? I actually just started reading this book. Look at that. Skippy Dies. Oh, yes. It is actually really, really interesting so far. Um, it's an uh, Irish boys' school, so it kind of has that, like, it's like uh, modern day, not Harry Potter in terms of, like, magic and that kind of stuff, but a school, a whole bunch of characters yeah. that are in there. And it's called Skippy Dies, and rest assured, he does die. Oh. At the very beginning. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah and, then it it kind of, and then it kind of like goes back and tells the whole story. It's a very good read, though. I'm not done yet, but check it out. It's good. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, but, uh, I was going to... Yeah, I don't think he even has... Oh, yeah. Shorty Murakami. He's one of my favorite authors. Um, I like that book cover. Yeah, the Kalis Sukuru Tazaki. This is his newest uh, novel, novel. Um, and it's pretty darn good. It's a return to form for him. But uh, yeah, check him out. He's one of my favorite authors. Um, nice, dude. Yeah. I'm going to look for some of mine. You find something? Oh, yes, the classic. Classic. John dies at the end. Did you talk about this one? We've talked about it, yeah. What did you talk about this one? Uh, we, we didn't talk, we talked about him on the show, but on, I was reading his third book. Dude, this is, oh yeah, you're reading his third book. This yeah. is a great book as well. Yeah, the sequel. I love David Wong. They're, they're, there. they're two uh, very different books, too. <laughs> two extremely different books with but the same characters, which is nice. Yeah, it's, it's very good reads. Uh, super good. I think most of the other things that I read are probably in sci-fi or fantasy, so... <laughs> I'm surprised that's not. So that's where we came in, over at Fifth Avenue over there. We're actually going to come this way. We're going to go down to Fourth. Uh oh. So. We're two floors down from where we were. Oh, we could have taken the... Oh, no, it's broken. But now we're on 4th Avenue. It's an entire city block of library. Heck yeah. We'll get a better shot of it. We'll get a better shot of it. Hold on. That's crazy. So this this library was designed by the same guy who did the uh, the EMP, David O'Gary, and he designed both this building and that crazy funky one. The Bartels up there. Well, that Bartels. You think anyone's uh, uh, pooped on top? Think anyone's pooped on top of that Bartels? Yeah. We'll never know. If you have, come clean. Come forward. We'd like to know. I would just like the mystery to be solved. That's the Terror Blog. That's the Terror Blog. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our journey around the Seattle Public Library downtown here.
we're gonna do something different next week. So thank maybe you guys. Some food. Maybe some food. Yeah, maybe we'll throw maybe some more some food, food in. So thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. Maybe some food. Don't. Be careful, you're in the street. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's fine, he's fine. It was a joke.